We're going to do steel to steel using low fuming bronze. Low fuming bronze will do steel to steel. Cast iron. Also will do brass. Not used for it generally speaking because it's too high in temperature. We'll bring the steel up to a red up to exactly 1704 degrees. Lay the rod on. Hold the flame directly in on it so you take advantage of all the BTUs you're making. Watch for it to flow. <clears throat> I'm watching for it flowing. I want to fill it. And I'll get started. I'm going to chase the rod. Producing a fillet. The fillet is the strength. This does not have capillary attraction. So therefore the fillet is all the strength. We'll rotate. Lay the rod right over top of where we left off. You will notice I'm keeping the rod flat on the joint. Running parallel to the joint so that I don't have to move the rod off the joint very often. Just follow the joint with your hand. We'll use a number five tip on this. This will be copper to steel. We're going to use, in fact, I've got to put flux on. We're going to use stay sealed flux, a white flux. This is not a FOSS copper rod. This is a high silver. You're in fact, using 56% silver with stay sealed flux. Anytime you're not using phosphorus, you have got to use flux, and especially on dissimilar metals. Going to heat up all around the joint just a little, especially the thickest member, which would be the steel. I'm looking for the tuck flux to go clear as clear as water, lay the rod on. This alloy flows at exactly 1,205 degrees. It is quite low in temperature. 56% silver. This is copper to copper using Dynaflow, which is 6% silver. It is a phosphorus type rod. The phosphorus will do its self cleaning. We're going to heat up, get a little bit of color in the joint, put the alloy on. Next, we will go soft solder. We'll be using Bridget. I'll go down to a number three tip. I don't need a lot of flame here and not a BTU. I'm going to warm up the stub tube going down into the coupling just a little. Go down on the coupling so I get capillary attraction all the way through. Lay it on. 